Uh, here we have an article. This is from the UK. Uh, the Sycamore Gap tree, uh, the destruction of this iconic tree, it, tr it uh, triggered outrage as a boy 16 was arrested. So they're thinking he did it. And uh, the destruction of the iconic world-famous Sycamore Gap tree has triggered widespread outrage and upset as a 16-year-old boy who was arrested has now been released on bail. The ancient majestic tree next to the Hadrian's Wall in Northumberland was chopped down overnight on Wednesday in what looks like a deliberate act of vandalism, said the police department and the Crime Commission. In a statement... In Northborough, police said, I guess I'm pronouncing that right, a 16-year-old male was arrested in connection with the incident. He has since been released on police bail pending further inquiries. Sycamore Gap, if y'all can see that in the window, we'll read the next paragraph. The Sycamore Gap, thought to be around 300 years old. Wow was made famous by actor Kevin Costner when it appeared in his 1991 film Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, and was voted English's Tree of the Year in 2016 in the Woodland Trust Awards. It has become one of the most photographed trees in the UK. Man, this is... Wow, why would you chop down a tree? As police officers searched the area, the tree's destruction prompted an outpouring and anger of sorrow from MPs, campaigners, and the public alike. Uh, here's this guy. Let's see what he says. He's upset about it. Words. Um, I've just been made aware that, uh, that we've lost the sycamore at Sycamore Gap. Uh, somebody has felled it, apparently. Um, well, I hope whoever's done that has... Uh, has a conscience because uh, you've just murdered a sentinel of time and elemental spirit of Northumberland. And I hope you feel really good about yourself for whatever warped reason you've done it. It's shocking. Wow. I'm beyond words. Hello everyone, um, I've just... Alright, so we got another article here. Uh, the Sycamore Gap, expert warns failed Robin Hood tree can be saved, but will take decades. So they're, they're thinking it uh, it might be able to... Uh, make sure I can get this in there so you guys can see it too. Uh, let's do that. Bam, bam, bam. Alright. A tree expert has shared hope in the beloved Sycamore Gap could be saved, but will take decades to regrow to its previous glory. The tree has stood in a dramatic dip near the Hayden's Wall in Northumberland for more than 300 years and was made famous when it appeared in Kevin Costner's film. Yeah, we knew about that. And uh, there was an investigation launched last Thursday after the tree was deliberately failed overnight with a chainsaw saying it was treating it as an act of vandalism. And we know the 16-year-old boy was arrested. And there's a picture of the chopped down tree. They're putting tape around the, uh, the thing. Walkers had reached, sorry, walkers had reacted with fury to the news, but had been given a glimmer of hope that is not lost. Although people have to be a little patient, John Stokes from the Tree Council told Sky News, it is very difficult to know if it will survive for sure, as he hasn't seen it in his lifetime. He hasn't seen it, but he's saying it's worth, it's worth having hope for. You see, he's saying at this time of year, trees begin to store energy in their roots for the next year's growing season. And it is possible that the tree may grow some new shoots next spring. If they do appear, they will then take many decades to grow into a new tree. But, they may, but there may be a chance. We won't know for sure until next spring. Let's see. It's saying uh, the force later said a 16-year-old boy had been arrested on suspicion of causing criminal damage. He is in police custody and assisting officers with the inquiries, a spokesman said. 
Let's see. The superintendent, Kevin Waring of North Thornborough. I guess that's how you pronounce the the police department. This is a world-renowned landmark, and the events of today have caused significant shock, sadness, and anger throughout the local community and beyond. An investigation was immediately launched following this vandalism, and this afternoon we have arrested one suspect in connection with our inquiries. Giving our investigation remains at very early stage. We are keeping an open mind. I'm appealing. He's appealing to the public. So, I mean, they grabbed that kid. I don't know if there's enough evidence saying they let him out on bail. Let's see. The Heritage Minister, Lord Packison of Whitley Bay, added, like everyone across the northeast and far beyond, I am heartbroken at the loss of this iconic part of our nation's heritage. It is unfathomable anybody would want to deny future generations of the opportunity to have their lives enriched as those of so many people have over the world have, you know, have been by this breathtaking sight. Okay, right here we've got a video of, of the tree. Let's, let's take a look at this. It's an ancient tree. And last night, possibly in the early hours of the morning, I've been told, um, somebody has taken the time to come up here and fell the tree. There was a storm yesterday. That was quite hey. a severe storm that affected much of the UK. Um, storm Agnes, but as you yeah, can it see... It kind of looks like it's out in the middle of nowhere, but it's beautiful. The, oh, the line area. has been drawn very clearly there with white paint around the tree. And it has been felled in a very clean and precise manner and it is now lying across Avian's wall and sitting completely vandalized. Wow. Here's a view of the tree standing. It's just beautiful. Why does knucklehead come and chop it down? Here's a shot of it from another angle with uh, police and stuff. Dang. It's a good sized tree. I mean, this is just sad. This is just sad. Let's take a look at this again. It's just unfortunate. What's wrong with these kids? They have no respect. No respect whatsoever. Unbelievable. Yeah, if, if, if he did it, they find evidence. They need to lock him up for a long time. Anyway, you know, three hundred year old tree, and some little stupid turd comes with a chainsaw and chops it down. Thing's been standing there three hundred years. Unbelievable. Well. I do hope uh, they find out who did this and punish him, punish him full extent of the law to stop this 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 uh, destruction of uh, just beautiful things. I mean, this tree, for Pete's sake, good night. Well, there you have it. That is what's going on.